What's up guys, Ethan Hamrick here with Wish Upon a Fish. Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here on a pond, uh, close to my house today. Gonna do a little fishing this afternoon. Uh, don't got too long, but I'm gonna see if I can catch a few bass out here. Uh, I'm throwing a little wacky rig Cinco. Uh, I see a lot of fish cruising and, and there should be some bedding fish. So we're gonna give it a shot and see if we can catch a few fish. Stay tuned. Got him. Little buck bass on a bed. Hit it twice, actually. That fish missed it the first time. And I missed him, and he come back and ate it. Pitching a little wacky worm down there, and and uh, irritated him enough, he finally ate it. So, number one. All right, guys. Uh, today's the day after the full moon, and I'm looking for fish that are on beds here today. Already caught one. I'm just looking for those betters and throwing a little wacky rig Cinco around around the bank line, just kind of looking for looking for any cruising fish or bedding fish. The good thing about that wacky worm is it's super simple. It slowly falls to the bottom, sinks to the bottom. It'll catch those cruising fish, it'll catch those bedding fish. It's a great way to rig a Cinco to catch fish this time of year. Little guy, I'm telling you. Pretty one. Number two. On that old wacky worm. Wacky rig Cinco. A lot of times is the way to go. This pond's been pretty tough the last few months. And simplifying things can often be the key to getting bites. All right, guys, there's another little one. But he ate the old wacky worm, and it's number three. Now, guys, when you're wacky worming, like I'm doing here today, I usually throw a wacky worm on a spinning rod, but a bait caster is all I've got with me today. So I'm just throwing it on a bait caster. But when you're wacky worming, you just want to see, I don't know if you can tell how I'm, I'm sure you can, how I'm working the, the rod, just how I'm kind of short, short little pops up off the bottom and just kind of making that worm move erratically uh, in the water. That's how you want to work a wacky worm. Just slow, subtle presentation where it floats right down there in front of those fish uh, and presents a nice easy meal, um, whether they're on a bed or not. Uh, you can catch catching fish on a bed if, you know, just pitch it over there and work it over their bed. You may not catch them right away, but uh, sooner or later, you're bound to irritate them enough with that Cinco wacky rig Cinco that you'll catch them and um, you can also catch as I mentioned earlier cruising fish just look up along the bank and if you see cruising fish this wacky rig Cinco is a great option those fish will just come up there and gently suck it in uh, when they won't hit much much else you know and they won't hit many other baits a wacky rig Cinco a trick worm stuff like that is great for those cruising fish damn the fish damn the fish we got one. Got another one, boys. That's a little better one there. Not a giant, but a, a little better one. And another thing, guys, is if you're, you're pond fishing, uh, no matter what you're fishing with, whether it be a worm, spinner bait, crank bait, topwater bait, whatever it may be, um, anytime you're pond fishing, try to fish down parallel to the bank and try to just cut it into sections. I can throw it out toward the middle and throw it out there. I can fish it back, you know, back toward me, fish it through the grass. There's some hydrilla out here past the main shoreline grass. I can fish it over that hydrilla and fish out there toward the middle. But I also want to throw it back inside over here. And I also, you know, I want to make a couple casts back toward closer toward the bank. And I just want to cover all that, all that water so I'm not missing anything. And so I'm presenting that bait to every fish, as many fish as possible. Make another cast right along the bank right there. Fish all these sections. Just cut it into small sections and fish them one at a time. So you cover all that water and don't miss a chance at, uh, at, those, at some of those fish. 
There he is. Got him. He swirled up on that, that thing, guys. Wacky worm's getting him today. This one's only about a pound, but got us another one. There he goes. Oh, oh gosh, big and big and big and big and big and get up here. That's a three pounder at least. Yes, baby. That's the one I just missed. Yes, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That's a good one right there. Watch that fish come up and eat it. Oh, yes, sir. Two and a half pounds. Thought she was a little bigger than that. There she goes. better one anyways not a giant but a better one better one than what I've been catching not not a big one but he's decent there he goes oh, oh gosh another one smoked it right there fish number eight baby took my worm but I got another one all right guys, fish number eight on the day. We'll turn him loose. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope some of these tips help you the next time you're out on the water bass fishing this spring. Uh, keep in mind that a Senko, a, wa a wacky rig Senko especially, is a super awesome uh, pre-spawn spawn and post-spawn bait. Awesome springtime lure. Uh, so keep that in mind the next time you're out on the water. Also keep in mind these pond tips. If you're out fishing a pond, uh, Remember, fish parallel to the bank. Cut the pond into sections if you can and fish as much water as possible so you're not missing out on some of those fish. But just keep these tips in mind the next time you hit the water. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel up in this corner. Check out our latest video in this corner. And there will be a lot more exciting and helpful fishing videos headed your way. We'll talk to you soon.